President Pervez Musharraf has ordered his forces to end the chaos and violence on the streets of Pakistan following the assassination of opposition leader Benazir Bhutto. The unrest has thrown into doubt the timing of parliamentary elections that were set for next month. The government faces mounting challenges to its version of how Ms. Bhutto died, with fresh pictures allegedly showing the sequence of events before her attack. Damien Grammaticus is in Rolpindi. On Pakistani television tonight, new images. Circled in red, wearing dark glasses and aiming his gun at Benazir Bhutto, what looks like an assassin. In a second photo, the gunman is seen behind him in white, a man local television claims was the suicide bomber. From another angle, Miss Bhutto in government released footage. Behind her, a gunman fires. Then an explosion. The government says she fractured her skull on the car's sunroof. But in the final photo, the explosion hasn't yet happened and Miss Bhutto has already dropped inside her car. Her friends say the government's version is a lie. She was shot. I've seen the wound, the bullet marks. The, it went in from one side of the back of the head and it came out the other. She bled so profusely that we had to take her into another vehicle. We had to shift her into my car, which is also now bloodied, still full of her blood stains. At the scene, potential evidence still litters the ground. The government has claimed Al-Qaeda did this. But many suspicious disbelieve the official line. The atmosphere is charged. What eyewitnesses have told us is that Benazir Bhutto's car exited through this gate. She was standing up through the roof, waving at the crowds. The area was packed, which is why she was moving so slowly. And as the vehicle began to turn onto the main road, well, the attacker appeared from behind, fired the shots, and then detonated its explosives. Tonight, in the hospital where Miss Bhutto was taken, the doctors who treated her wouldn't talk on camera. The BBC obtained a copy of their medical report. It says no foreign body was felt in the wound, so no bullet found. And the cause of death, an open head injury with a depressed skull fracture. But the government is under pressure because no proper autopsy has been done. It is, it is immaterial whether it was the bullet or it was uh, uh, the explosive or it was some other material. I think what is more important is that we now must focus on the people who assassinated her. And at the site of the attack, a bullet found while we were there. Benazir Bhutto's supporters believe the government has something to hide. The anger, the unanswered questions, fueling Pakistan's instability. Damien Grammaticus, BBC News, Rolpindi.